All right. We got some exciting stuff coming up. Stay tuned. We're going to have to re-baseline this whole thing. Hey, everybody. This is Everyman with Everyman's 40K channel. And like I said, we're going to have to re-baseline. So from today going forward, the way we're going to format these videos and the army list, okay? So let's get into the army list changes. So the data slate that just came out January 2024, it changed the cost of our crisis suits. So now we're 200 for three and 400 for six. Now I don't want a quarter of my points of my whole army to go into crisis suits because in my old list, I had six of them. Uh, let me go ahead and throw up my both my lists. So I'm gonna throw up my old list, it's here and I'm gonna put my new list side by side and it's here. If you look at the old list, minor changes to get the points, okay, to adjust for the new list. So on the left-hand side, you can see on my Cadre Fire Blade, I went ahead and I took off an enhancement. I got 20 points back. I went ahead and also, if you look lower into the list, I took out one unit of crisis suits. So now we, I got 220 points to deal with where those points are gonna go. Now let's look on the right hand side, new list. I've got Dark Strider. Then you look down in the list under infantry and I've loaded in a unit of Pathfinders. Again, look at the infantry or look at the, the beast, look down below. That allows me to drop in two units of Crute Hounds for a total of exactly 2000 points, okay? So this is the new list that we're working to. From here forward, as you can tell, I got my two broadsides built. No longer are we gonna do the lay the pieces out on the build mat sort of thing and me describe that. We don't have to do that. I'm gonna show you the links to the files and I'm gonna build the miniatures to that point. All the miniatures are built. I'm done. So I spent two weeks doing nothing but building miniatures. I've slammed them all together. So my whole board, all the miniatures are done. Let's go ahead and talk about these. And this is going to be the new format going forward. Everything's going to be already be built. So let's go ahead and do a compare and contrast with between Piper Makes and GW. So we're still going to do that. So here are some examples of what Piper Makes offers. Okay. And then we're gonna go roll right into what GW offers. Here's their offering, okay? So good to go. Now let's get into the files, okay? So I'll explain the files. I'm still gonna explain what you guys need. So for my configuration, I went with the two plasmas or twin link plasmas, right? Because I wanna reach out and touch people. Then you're gonna need the feet, you're gonna need the lower leg, you're gonna need the knee joint right? You're going to need the upper thigh or the upper leg, the hip, the center torso. You're going to need a head. You're going to need arms. I went with the four arm configuration. You can go with the two arm configuration. I went with four. Going with the four arm configuration requires you to get this little doodad right here. Okay. And that is like a shoulder joint, she calls it. And that just glues right into the torso right here. So then I got my uh, seeker missile right mount. So here you can actually show the seeker missile. As you can see, you need hands, okay? And then on your arms, make sure that you mirror them correctly when you print, right? Because uh, when you grab an arm from the file and you put the arm on your plate, the arms are only one side. So you have to mirror everything. They're, they are jointed. So you have the upper arm, lower arm, upper arm, undermount. So as you can see, we have undermount stuff going on. This is my missile for my um, drone because these guys are gonna be with a one shield, okay? One shield drone and then one missile drone. Well, I went with the, um, both, I went with the rail rifles with the rear mount here under mount with the rear kind of setup here uh, as you see in the pictures if you go back she has another setup where you can actually come from under here and and hook in okay 
it's all your flavor, how you want your miniatures to look. And this is why I chose to go with Piper Makes because again, these are just awesome. I mean, you get in here and you look at these. I mean, look at that detail. When you get these all chipped and painted, weathered, some rust. I mean, the way I'm gonna paint these up, holy cow, man, just again. Oh, last thing too is always, always I pin. So if you come look here, there's the pin. That is enough for now. We're into almost 10 minutes. I want to keep these short. So going forward, we got a new format. No more laying the parts out on the table. We're just going to go right into a showcase. We're going to announce it. We're going to let you guys look at it. We're going to run through the pieces and parts that you need. All the files, the links to the files and internet stuff will be all in the description. I've explained that to you. We're going to do a compare and contrast. I want you guys to look at the, the Pipers versus GWs. And go take a look at my list. Leave some comments uh, about the new list and the new things I've done with that, okay? Hit that subscribe button. Smash that notification bell. Hit that like button. And tell all your friends on social media that I'm out here and that I got this towel project going. And this is going to help us speed things up. So we're going to actually get into the board and the terrain and framing and, and all the electronics. So it's coming up quick. Okay, so here we go. May all your dice rolls come up sixes unless you're looking for that one. Peace out, everybody.